Hi, Study Sex fans. I'm coming at you for more questions that arose during the Gentlemen Start Your Engines workshop at Brandeis University during the Study Sex College Tour. And so the next question that we have is, are gay men at a higher risk for prostate cancer due to their sexual habits, i.e. anal sex? Okay, so there's a lot of different ways that I can answer this question. But first, um, the first thing I want to say is gay men aren't at a higher risk for prostate cancer due to their sexual habits. Um, that's not true. Now, men who have sex with men may be at an increased risk for developing infections in the prostate, but it's the behavior, not who we love. So I just want to kind of poke you with that a little bit. Um, again, it's about behavior versus who you love. So gay men aren't more likely to get prostate cancer um, because the majority of gay men don't actually engage in anal sex. The majority of gay men engage in oral sex. So it's, it's mostly, you know, blowjobs and stuff like that that is the behavior that is most commonly practiced among gay men. Um, prostate cancer develops because it has, the prostate has um, cell changes or there has been, um, there's been a study that says that if you are prone to infection that that may lead to prostate cancer. So I can see where this question comes from because if someone is getting more infections due to exposure to bacteria, there could be, there has been some evidence that says that, well, you know, that could increase the chances of cancer. But it's not specific to gay men. It's just specific to those that get infections in their prostate gland. And straight men, you know, sometimes they like sticking things up their butt too. Safely, of course, and consensually is the important answer. Infections cause rectal cancer, bad things can happen. But it's not the behavior. It's those tiny little bugs 